So in this video, we're going to look at problems where we're looking for the exact value, and they're going to involve using some uh, fundamental identities along with some ideas involving uh, co-functions. So see if you can find the exact value to these uh, four problems without using a calculator. You can pause the video, and then I'll be back to uh, look at the solution. Okay, so now let's look at a few things just in case you did. we're not able to come up with the uh, answer to these or have an idea of how to do them. We'll look at this. Uh, we have a right triangle here. So angle C is the right angle. The side opposite C is lowercase c. And then we have angle A. The opposite side is lowercase a. Angle B. And the opposite side is lowercase b. So we need to note, C is a 90 degree triangle angle here. And then we know that the total measure of the three angles is 180. So I know that angle A, measure of angle A, and the measure of angle B has to be 90 degrees. So in other words, A and B are complementary angles. They add up to 90 degrees. So we're going to note then, again, A and B are complementary angles. So using the right triangle definition of uh, the uh, trig functions, we know that the sine of, we'll look, at, we'll look at angle A here, and B. So we know that the sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So for sine of A, that's the opposite side over the hypotenuse, that's A over C. Now if we go the other way and look at angle B, the cosine of B from this orientation is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's A over C. Tangent of A, by definition, is the opposite over the adjacent, that's A over B. Going the other way, for angle B, the cotangent is the adjacent, which is A, over the opposite, which is B. Now for secant of A, that's the hypotenuse, which is C over the adjacent. So that's secant of A is C over B. And now the other way, cosecant of B is the hypotenuse over the opposite side. That's C over B. So it's important to note that cofunctions right here, sine and cosine are called cofunctions. Notice sine of A is A over C, cosine of B is a over C. Here, tangent and cotangent are cofunctions. You can see here, tangent of A is A over B, cotangent of B is A over B. Secant of A and cosecant, those are cofunctions again. Secant of A is C over B, cosecant of B is C over B. Those have the same value here also. So we can conclude here that cofunctions of complementary angles are equal. And that's basically what you're going to use for these exercises, along with a few basic fundamental identities. So getting back to the first one, what's the exact value without using a calculator here? We got cosine of 62 degrees minus the sine of 28 degrees. Well, first of all, cosine and sine are cofunctions. And 62 degrees and 28 degrees are complementary angles. So I can simply uh, say that that means that the cosine at 62 degrees minus, and then I can say, well, the sine at 28 is the same thing as the cosine. At 62. degrees. And that, of course, is equal to zero. I could also say here that the cosine of 62 degrees is the same thing as a sine of 28 degrees. And I still would get sine of 28 
minus sine of 28 equal to zero. Okay, for the next one, I got the tangent at 40 degrees. And then tangent and cotangent are co-functions. 40 degrees and 50 degrees are complementary. So I could say uh, cotangent of 50 would also be equal to the tangent 40 degrees and got tangent over 40 tangent over 40 so the value of the second expression is 1 I could go the other way and say tangent of 40 degrees is the same thing as the cotangent of 50 then I would have cotangent of 50 degrees over cotangent of 50 degrees that's equal to 1 so the exact value of the first expression is 0 the exact value of the second expression is 1 some more space here, remove that. And then for number three, I got cotangent squared of 40 degrees plus cosine squared of 50 degrees. And I could say, well, cosine and sine are cofunctions, so 40 and 50 degrees are complementary angles, so Cosine squared then of 40 degrees can be replaced by sine squared of 50 degrees. And then I got plus cosine squared. 50 degrees and of course we have our basic fundamental identity here sine squared of 50 degrees plus the cosine of 50 degrees sine squared of any angle plus cosine squared have the same angle is always equal to 1 that's one of your main fundamental identities so the value of this equals to 1 and obviously I could have replaced this cosine squared by sine squared either way I, I, I get sine squared plus cosine squared of the same angle equals to 1. Okay, the next one. Tangent squared of 40 degrees. Again, 40 and 50 are comp sub, uh, complementary angles. So, head tangent squared. Forty degrees tangent and or cosecant and secant are cofunctions. So what I'll do here is I'll say cosecant squared fifty is the same thing as secant. Again, using the uh, that cofunctions of complementary angles are equal. So cosecant squared of 50 degrees is the same thing as secant squared of 40 degrees. So then what is this equal? Well, again, we know that one of our basic identities, fundamental identities, tells me that 1 tangent squared of some angle, called a theta, is equal to secant squared of that angle. So what do we have? We have tangent squared 40 degrees minus second squared of 40 degrees. So if I bring this over to this side, so we've got tangent squared theta, and then bring the second squared over, and make it minus second squared theta. In other words, I want to match what I have here. Tangent squared of an angle minus secant squared of the same angle. And then, of course, if I bring this over and take the 1 over, because I want to know what this difference is equal to. That's negative 1. So what do we have then? Tangent, squ tangent squared 40 degrees minus secant squared 40 degrees, according to what we have here, is negative 1. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.